Brie Larson has been a successful supporting player in TV and film for two decades. But this year, she found her sweet spot, her breakthrough role in Room, earning her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. Tonight, why her turn as Ma gave closure to a very difficult chapter in her life. Here's ABC's Robin Roberts. In the intensely powerful film Room, a young mother is held captive with her five-year-old son in a garden shed. Start with some stretch. It's the only world her son has ever known. The mother is played by a remarkable young actress named Brie Larson, whose career has been forever changed with this performance. The world is so big. It's so big you wouldn't even believe it. And, and Room is just one stinky part of it. Room's not stinky. I don't believe in your stinky world. As a young girl, Brie moved to Los Angeles with her newly single mother, and they shared a cramped studio apartment. Brie would draw upon her mom's experience for her character in Room, a young mother fiercely protecting her child. What I forgot up until recently was waking up in the middle of the night with me and my sister, my mom all in the same bed. Hearing my mom like covering her mouth, sobbing, trying to not make a sound for us to hear. It wasn't until I was prepping room where I realized that moment was the only crack. Thinking my kids are asleep, I can release, because where else is she gonna go? My mom was struggling while being in a very small space with two children and being sure to not put any of it on us. You realize how hard she tried and you see it from this perspective that you couldn't as a kid. We lived in a studio apartment. There's a room with a bed that came out of the wall and my mom couldn't afford even a happy meal. We ate top ramen. I had no toys and I had like two shirts and like a pair of jeans and that was it. But I had my mom all to myself and I remember it being the coolest period of time. I was really, really shy, like painfully shy. So the idea of me wanting to do something that's extremely extroverted just seemed bizarre and unnatural. Being an actor hasn't been easy. You're given mostly no's. There's like these sayings that like, just keep on going, it's just around the corner. And I just felt like I was like, this is the longest block ever. It's like 20 years walking on one block waiting for that corner to turn. While successful as a supporting player in both TV and film, Brie was still searching for that role that would show her true talents. And then she read the screenplay for a small independent film called Room, and something inside her clicked. Good morning, wardrobe. Good morning, TV. Good morning, sink. You're five now. You're five and you're old enough to understand what the world is. You have to understand. You have to understand. We can't keep living like this. You need to help me. The character allowed her to create an homage to her own mother and to connect more deeply with her co-star. This is a mothering role. I had to really create a sense of companionship with this boy. How could you not want to just give everything you have to that brilliant little kid? He's the best. And I felt so much responsibility. I knew from being an actor at the same age Jake was and how badly I really wanted to be respected and I wanted to do a good job. And I saw that in Jake right away. I knew that he was in it for real. I understood that he wanted to be respected and so I was always gonna make sure that he felt like a creative force. You saved me. Are you better now? Yeah, I'm starting to be. Room was really making it all about him, like making it about his experience. And it allowed me to really feel Ma in a deeper way. <laughs> we were doing the escape sequence. I always saw it as like what's on the page. Like it's a it's a mom giving up her son. <laughs> uh, she thinks that he's gonna be okay, but she's gonna die. I always assumed that it was about that. When we started doing it, and I would remember just holding on to Jacob in that rug, 
and I felt this just like gut-wrenching feeling of not wanting it to go. And I realized that that was me letting go of a seven-year-old. That's me letting go of my inner child and letting go of that girl and not knowing if I'm going to get it back. <laughs> Bree's breakthrough resulted in the most powerful performance of her career and gave her closure with the little girl she used to be. It's such a powerful metaphor for me now, and it trips me out that this movie is the thing that's given me that experience. Say bye-bye to room. It's saying goodbye to the seven-year-old that was in the studio apartment that was blissfully unaware and also so hopeful of what was going to happen. It's saying goodbye to my old normal. Ma has to commit to living in a bigger, more complicated world, and that's what I have to do as well. You're gonna love it. What? The world. Thank you, Robin. And be sure to watch the 88th Academy Awards this Sunday night at 8.30, right here on ABC.